Hey y'all, welcome back to the crazy. I'm Leslie, today is Thursday, July 7th, I believe. I'll be 60 tomorrow, woohoo. And this is floss tube number 135, and I am, a, well, more than a day late and usually more than a dollar short. But it's been a couple months since I did a floss tube, but I'm back to kind of catch you up. Um, it's been more than the usual amount of insanity around here lately. So you may want to skip ahead a few minutes if you don't want to hear my sad story. Um, it's not a sad story. It's just a bunch of crap that's happened. But it's my crap, so I'm going to tell you about it. Um, I have gotten way less than the usual amount of stitching done. And I have been way not motivated to do much of anything else. As you can see, my I'm still trying to get all my fabric on comic book boards and I have stuff stacked in every conceivable corner of this office. But I have to clean it up uh, this weekend because my son, yay, who I haven't seen in a year and a half is coming to visit next week. And he's gonna have to actually work for a couple of days while he's here. So I have to get this cleaned up so he can have a semi usable working environment during which time I will be entertaining my eight year old grandson. So y'all say a prayer that I can keep up. But anyway, what's been going on for me? Um, I think I've mentioned before that I tore my right rotator cuff when I was working for San Antonio Air Life and I had it repaired in 2002. And my repair has apparently broken down because I am back to being utterly miserable. I have no strength in my right arm. As long as I keep my arm tucked in and do no more than this, it's not too bad. I can stitch for about an hour at a time and then I have to stop and do something else for a while. But I have an appointment to see the orthopedic surgeon on, let's see, August 8th, so a month from tomorrow. So I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna have to be fixed. I'm, know that and it's utter misery but it's better than living like this forever and ever amen so cross your fingers for me there um and i don't have any acute injury i didn't like do something to hurt myself i think it's just broken down over time and use i mean it's been 20 years since i had it fixed the first time but anyway not looking forward to that because it is a miserable surgery because you use your soldier shoulder girdle for everything you do but it's better than it being miserable all the time so Anyway, that's that. Um, about the middle of May, a good friend of mine, who's also a Berman breeder, passed away. Ann Hohen, who was um, a good friend and kind of my link to the lady that got me started breeding cats. Um, she had a stroke and just didn't wake up one morning. So I was very sad about that because she was not only a friend in her own right, but my link to my friend who passed away in 2007 who got me started breeding so that was kind of a tough pill for me to swallow so i've been a little sad about that and i've been a little bit extra busy because ann was still very active as a breeder and i have brought home three of her girls who were already knocked up and i'm going to be midwife in them so there'll be lots of kittens arriving soon um Steve's been getting settled into his new job. He is starting to kind of get the hang of it and be happier. He was absolutely, utterly miserable for the first couple of weeks, just because he doesn't tolerate not being the go-to guy. You know, he wants to feel like he's the guy everybody can depend on. And he's had a very steep learning curve, but he's kind of getting the hang of it and is happier with it. And that makes me happy. Um, I went to a cat show in Stillwater, Oklahoma last weekend and took one of my kittens, Sugar. And Sugar was the seventh best kitten in show out of I think around 30-ish kittens. Um, so I was very happy with her. It'll probably be her one and only kitten show just because I don't get out to many shows anymore, but I was just happy that she did well. Um, so that was fun and I got to see my friend Charlotte and hang out with her for the weekend. So that was a lot of fun. And. Sorry, Risky's got a girlfriend in with him, so you may hear Wild Kingdom sounds from over there. Okay, I think that that is the majority of the crazy. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of other stuff that's happened, but it's gone out of my head now. I think it's like childbirth. You repress it because if you remember what it's like, you'd never do it a second time. Anyway, let's talk about what I've been stitching. And for two months, 
it ain't much because again, I get about an hour and then I have to quit. But anyway, these are in no particular order. I don't think, I think I have made at least some progress on all of these since y'all saw them, but I wouldn't absolutely swear to that. So cut me some slack. Oh, pardon me. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure if I had started this when I did my last floss tube. This is Block Party Meow from Hands On Design. And instead of the Call For 28 count, I am stitching this on a mystery. Who knows? I thought I wrote it down. Oh, apparently wrong. Um, this is a, I believe, 36 count. It's a picture of this plus fabric, and I kind of think it's heroic. And that's where I've gotten to. A couple little mice and some fish skeletons. And I'm stitching this with most of the call for, um, where I didn't have the call fours, I have substituted various and sundry um, colors for my stash. And this will, I plan, do plan to finish it in the, um, whatever you call that thing, that block pin cushion. But mine will just be smaller than what it was called for because I'm stitching it on 36 instead of 28 count. So that's where I got to on that. And I haven't worked on this one since probably towards the end of May. You're fine. Mando is unhappy that Risky has a girlfriend and he does not. So he's gonna talk to us. I'm not sure if I've made any progress on this since y'all saw it, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. This is Lady Catherine Kitty, hello and goodbye. From Summer House Stitch Works, I think. Yep, Summer House Stitch Works. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. And I wanted to do another needle book because I want to try my hand at finishing one again and see if I can do a better job than what I did last time. I was not happy with, um, with my result from the first one I did. These are, I believe, the Call For DMCs. And if I didn't have the Call For again, I just substituted what I had. And it's on a 28 count mystery, or maybe I take it back. This is a 32 count mystery even weave. And I have made my own little touch here by giving Kitty a little pink butthole because all the kitties that run around with their tails in the air in this house, that's what you see. And I am almost, I have some more um, like flowers and viney things on the sides here. And then I'll be to the point where it can just be fill in. And it'll be my travel project when I can just fill in. Although it's so flipping hot here. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay in my air conditioning. Even though my air conditioning is only limping along, we've been a um, hundred plus degrees last week and this week and probably next week with heat indices between 110 and 120. I am too fat for that nonsense. And when it's that hot, my air conditioner gets it to about 78 to 80 during the afternoon. And that's as good as it gets. But it's a heck of a lot better than being outside. So anyway, oops, forgot to put this one in. And I have to clean up as I go because big mess. I do believe I've made some progress on this one since I talked to you. This is the A Stitcher's Heart from Little House Needleworks. And I believe I found this on the secondary market, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I've slept since then. <laughs> Not the call for, just miscellaneous flosses from my stash. And this is on, I believe this is 40 count. And I think this is my little dove from next year. And that's where I've gotten to on it. So, made fairly decent progress. Got about the bottom third of it done. Oh, 
God, can you see? I can go all day long without yawning. And as soon as I turn on the flipping camera, there I go. I don't know what, power of suggestion. I don't know. It's not that I'm bored with you. I just yawned. This one I think I have also made some progress on. I love Annie B's patterns. And this is Garden Fair from Annie B's Folk Art. And I think at the time that y'all saw it last, I had most of that center plant done. I don't remember if I had the beehive done or not, but I, I finished the bee scap and I've started on the woman over here on this side. So I have made some progress on that. And this is, what did I pull for this? Um, a few of the call for, and then the rest are just from my stash, including some DMCs. And this is picture 36 count picture this plus murmur, I believe. But very happy with that. I, that one's fun to work on. I enjoy it. I've also worked on another Annie B's pattern. This is Love Always from Annie B's. And I believe this was a 2021 market release, I think. But I just think that house is really pretty. This is in none of the call fours. This is miscellaneous silks from my stash. Hey, Swampy, settle down. Chill out. And I don't remember where I was the last time y'all saw it. Um, this is, I believe, 40 count My Little Dove from XG Design. But that's where I am on that. I've got a pretty good start on this one. And I love working with the silks. It'll look a little bit different than what the, um, the model looks like, but that's okay. It's got my own twist on it. And again, I, I love Annie B's patterns. This was one I had planned to start at the beginning of the year, and I finally got around to starting it the end of May. This is Spring Scamper from Misty Purcell at Luminous Fiber Arts. And I started this with some of the call for, some miscellaneous, a lot of DMC, just whatever I had. I am I am pretty good about working for the most part from my th thread stash and my linen stash. Um, but so far, I don't seem to find many patterns that I don't want to buy. And I've just got a rabbit head. And this is 36 count. I want to say it's picture this plus aerial, but let me see if I wrote it. Yes, 36 count picture this plus aerial is what that one's on. And again, I've just got a bunny head. Whoops, an upside down bunny head. There he is. Hush. Swampy is telling Risky that she's really not interested in romantic interlude right now. But hopefully I'll make some significant progress on that one in time to have it ready maybe for next Easter. Possibly Easter 2024 at the rate I'm going right now. And then, this is my craziness. And this is actually what I have gotten the most accomplished on over the last probably three weeks-ish. This is a Shepherd's Song from Plum Street Samplers. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And I've always loved the scripture that says, may goodness and mercy follow thee all the days of thy life. And I couldn't tell you what the cit Bible citation is for that, but I love it. And here's where I am. This is 40 count Cafe Ale, but I got this from Teresa Vanette and, at Kitten Stitcher and she did not write who the maker was on the linen and I just, on the tag, and I don't remember what I ordered. 
but I've got the house outlined. Y'all, these little four square roof blocks are gonna be the death of me. And I've got some sheep started and a dog in there. There are many mistakes on that dog, but I'm happy with it. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So, and I've put in probably as much or more time on this as anything else. But at an hour a, a go round, it doesn't seem to move very fast. And I know that's all the stitching time that a lot of people get usually, but I'm used to stitching usually two or three hours a day. Um, so that's a big cut down for me. And this is with most of the call for flosses. I think, I don't know that I have 100% of the call for, but I do have most of them. Oh, and I did make one change and I'm probably gonna make another change. Let me see if I can show you that. If I can remember what it is. This sheep right here, the one with the, no, that's not right. Yeah, it is. The polka dot sheep right there. The call for on that is caper. My caper is a little greener than what I want a sheep to be. So I changed it. This is um, Moonlit Path from Gentle Arts. And I made that sheep more of a grayish color. Um, like I said, I, I really didn't want a green sheep. And my, my sheep was pretty, my caper was pretty green. So there you can see how that sheep came out. And there's another one, I think this one over here, that all you can see on him is his head and where I've started that argyle pattern in him. I think he's also supposed to be caper. And I'm also gonna trade that out. I think I'm gonna pull out my Victorian mottos. I've got quite a few grays from her. And I think I'm gonna tra trade that out also. Cause again, I'm not interested in a green sheep. Silly me. And then the last thing that I have worked on is this is the day from Plump Street Samplers. And this was a market release this year, I believe. And I just think that is so pretty. I love all the pinks and reds in there. Gorgeous, I love it. And I love the, the saying, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I've had some challenges with that over the last couple of months, but that's my plan anyway. I throw this on the floor. This is, I believe it's a 40 count. It's vintage country mocha. And all I've got done is I've got the house outlined, the mortar done, and I am filling in bricks and roof. Just whatever floats my boat as I go. And I have also most of the, there was a fair amount of DMC call for in that. That's what's on the floss drops here, but I am using most of the call for for it also. And I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Really looking forward to getting both of these done. And I have, I've stuck to these pretty, this is about all I've stitched on for the last probably three-ish, maybe more weeks is these two Plum Street pieces. They've really been what has kind of floated my boat lately. Although those little four square roof blocks. <sighs> yeah, those have kind of eaten my lunch. Okay, I didn't have any finishes. Almost all of those were new starts. Um, No FFOs. I've been lazy, I guess. Um, but I do have a little bit of haul, and y'all cut me some slack because it's been two months. The first thing I got, and this has been on order for God knows how long. This is a Fat Quarter bundle that I got from the Fat Quarter shop of the Blackbird Designs threads that bind fabrics. I have no immediate plans for what I'm gonna do with this. It may end up as some project bags. It may end up if I ever decide I'm gonna make a quilt. I don't know, but those fabrics were just all so gorgeous that I did make the investment in a half, half yard bundle on that. 
And then I saw that Teresa Vinette had some of the other fabrics in one yard cuts. And she has, she still has some of these in stock and you can get more than a yard on, on some of them. But um, I got one yard cuts of some of the um, sampler looking fabrics. And again, I don't know what I'll do with them. I know a lot of people are making projects out of, project bags out of them. If I ever get my arm fixed, I can sew again, I might make some. <laughs> but I just thought they were so pretty and I, I wanted to get them while they were still gettable because like all of them, they will go out of print. Um, is it out of print for fabrics? Is that the right term for it? They won't be available forever. So I got them while the getting was good. When I ordered from Teresa, I also picked up this pattern because I think it's super cute. This is the Liberty Sewing Pouch from Stacy Nash Primitives. I had some grandiose plan about I was gonna do this as a small for an exchange um, for Farm Girl was running a patriotic summer exchange. But, um, my arm went to hell in a handbasket, so I had to pull my name out of the exchange. I didn't get to do the exchange because I didn't think I'd be able to get it done. So, which was kind of a bummer, but I've got the pattern and that is super duper cute. So, I have it. I have purchased two other patterns. I also ordered this one from Farm Girl. She had it, if, if you got it as a pre-order, she had free shipping and I thought that was a great deal. This is Live On Little from Plum Street Samplers. I am just all kinds of in a Plum Street Samplers mood, y'all. And I think that's just beautiful. I love it. If you look up uh, Lisa Kindred Stitcher, she's recently finished this. And a lot of other people are stitching it. Now, I will tell you that I think it's somewhat ironic that it's Live On Little and it's gotta be one of the biggest houses ever, <laughs> ever. So I'm, I don't know if she was a little tongue in cheek with that or just that's how it worked out for the design, but. I think it's beautiful. When I finish those other Plum Street houses, this one's gonna get in line. And then um, also from Farm Girl, I'm, she's my only Patreon um, thing. And if you are in her, whichever tier as a patron, you get a fat quarter of fabric that she hand dyes once a quarter. And um, this is 40 count linen. And so that's not showing up very true. It's a kind of a grayish color. It's got very subtle modeling in it. It's beautiful. It's one of the prettiest fabrics I've ever seen. And she generously included a little flag beeswax waxer with it. And then I mentioned I went to a show in, y'all excuse me, I'm sweating like a pig because 78 degrees in my house right now. Hopefully it's only 78. It might be warmer. Anyway, last weekend I went to Stillwater for a show and I was meeting my friend Charlotte there and I was gonna share her, her hotel room so I didn't have to pay for a hotel room, thank God. Um, and she called me on the way up and said that they had gotten stuck in traffic so she was gonna be later getting still water than what she had planned. So I was gonna be about an hour to an hour and a half earlier than her and I would have just had to sit around and, you know, pick my fingernails between when I got to Stillwater and when she was gonna arrive and when I could get in the hotel. So Tulsa is between me and Stillwater. So I stopped by the Silver Needle in Tulsa and I just picked up some miscellaneous flosses that I did not have. Just pretty colors. I don't have any specific plans for any of them. I just thought they were pretty colors. They're mostly, um, their classic color works are or um, gentle arts. I do use Weeks Dye Works floss if it's called for and I happen to have it, but I am not as big a fan of the texture of Weeks Dye Works floss as I am. I actually prefer Gentle Arts and um, Plastic Color Works. And while I was there, I also picked up Liberty's Welcome, also from Plum Street, because again, I'm in a Plum Street mood. And the ladies at the Silver Needle were absolutely terrific. I called ahead and said, hey, I'd like to stop by, but I have two kittens with me and it's too hot to leave them in the car. Can I bring them inside? And they very generously allowed me to bring my kitties in their carrier, of course, 
into the, the store and wait while we, um, while I kill some time there. So I could, before I went on to still water. So thanks ladies. You probably don't watch me, but if you do, thank you. I really appreciate it. And that's all my goodies, which is probably enough. Now, because I have been poorly motivated, I have to honestly tell you, I did not pull for the, um, the winners from last time just because I wanted to get this over and get it done before my husband gets home from work and I have to go cook dinner. But I will do those either today or this weekend and I will comment on your comments and um, y'all email me. Uh, my email will be in the drop down. When I get the drop down done, maybe this afternoon, maybe tomorrow or this weekend, depending on when I have time. Ow. Um, shrugging is not a good idea. Um, and anyway, when I comment on your comment, please email me and let me know where to, to mail your um, goodie to. I have no idea when I will do another floss tube um, because I'm not making a lot of progress. And frankly, I'm just not real highly motivated right now. Um, so I'm not going to do um, giveaways goodies this time, but I'll do some extra when I come back. Um, I appreciate y'all coming to listen to me. Oh, and I have had a plethora of people email and text and call and Facebook message and Instagram message me to check on me and just make sure I was okay since I hadn't done a floss tube in a couple months. And I really, really appreciate um, y'all checking on me and all your positive comments. Thank you very, very much. And I'm fine. I'm just not highly motivated right now. Um, but thank you for checking on me. And I will be back with y'all when I'm back. Hopefully not a couple months, but who knows? If I get my arm fixed, it might be longer than that because it, once I have surgery on it, last time I think I could stitch after about four weeks because I had this one done in 2017. Apparently my shoulders are crap. Anyway, I, it was good to visit with y'all again and I hope I see you again soon. Y'all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.